Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward and this is a limited edition kit which comes as a dual combo in 148 scale, it is named as a Red Tails and Co and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and as for the whole release it is interesting because it copies Mustangs from the famous uh, US Air Forces fighter groups it was the 31st 52nd and 325th and 332nd and also we have aircraft here from the world war ii uh, italy based and they're coming 148 scale as i said before and they're a dual combo so we will be able to copy two aircraft out of the all marking options and as far as i remember there should be something like a 12 marking options so it's really good that you will be uh, able to copy two out of this 12 and the box size is quite impressive so here you can see comparison with my hand we have really beautiful box art just like any other edward kit here on the side you will be able to check all the marking options again i remind you that there are 12 of them as you can see four rows actually uh, yeah four rows by three aircraft and as you can see they're quite colorful just like any other u.s aircraft which were flying in europe uh, during world war ii we also have some information about safety advices and here on the other side you'll find information about this kit so yes this is a dual combo it means you get all the necessary things for the assembly of two aircraft and it means all the accessories as well and the box is top opening here is what we have inside and because this is a dual combo i guess we want to be checking the same stuff again and again we will just take a look at one set of sprues and then we will be taking a look at the uh, decals for example or maybe the assembly manual so first of all i'm going to open this gray plastic bag here we have wing parts and this kit might be familiar to you because basically it is based on the plastic which was released before in several limited editions and we reviewed them as well and it was out as the profit pack even as the weekend edition kit as far as i remember so there were various versions and now we have it again in a limited edition kit with the special topic so here you can see wing parts we have really nice molding quality and i would say overall design is typical it is quite surprising to see separate flaps here because usually edward does them as an aftermarket set and here you can take a look at the external features of this kit they look quite impressive so it's just a matter of careful painting and obviously these panel lines are not too deep so i would not recommend to overdo the paint layers and primer layers and here inside you can also see some guiding elements which is also a nice touch which will help to assemble these parts together but again it's better to keep track of the possible fitment uh, things so that you will be let's say you will have a nice result next i'm opening another plastic bag that's a ziploc bag with a clear plastic sprue and clear sprues in edward they're usually <laughs> made or finished in a quite special shapes and this one is not an exclusion because as you can see it comes in a circle or frame and I think everything looks fine here, obviously you can open the canopy with such parts design and there are masks included so you have a nice paint finish once you apply the masks on your model so it's just a matter of careful installation on the model and again if I zoom in here to the windscreen you can see that we have even rivets pre-molded if camera will focus you will be able to notice it so it's just a matter of uh, covering all these parts with the proper layers of paint and why i'm saying the layers of paint because some modellers usually forget about the interior cover which is quite important so <laughs> be sure to do everything in the right order and you will be surprised how it actually affects the overall appearance of the aircraft next we continue with the set of white gray plastic sprues but they're quite surprising because we have double set in one plastic bag so I will have to open it right now and we have various minor parts for external and internal features I have to say that this plastic from Edward looks good 
even as out of the box build. So in case you are wondering if you have to use OPE parts, I know some modders who are actually trying to avoid PE parts and this kit actually helps to do so. But again, I'm not sure why would you do so because PE parts are actually really helpful in order to emphasize some features of the aircraft and especially in this scale because it will be noticeable and i suggest we zoom in here for example so that you can see this landing gear OX. do not forget that if you have some extra cash you can replace them with a bronze OX from edward which are a bit more sturdy and they look quite impressive in person here we continue with some parts for the main wheel wells also we have exhaust stacks we have landing gear doors some parts again for the main wheel wells and overall molding quality you can notice that there is no flash no any other molding damage so it's just a matter of careful separation and you'll be good to go but be careful with uh thin parts because they require careful treatment and maybe um, it will be important to separate them with a plastic so not with the plastic cutters as we are used to do here we continue with another sprue. This one is dedicated mostly to interior parts because we have a cockpit floor, we have also cockpit walls. And here we have some parts for propeller, but I guess that's not as important as cockpit parts because everybody is interested in what you actually get out of the box in the cockpit area. And I have to say that it's really nice. So let's not forget that again we get some P parts in order to improve this uh, pilot workspace. And if this is not enough for you, you can go for a brassing upgrade from Edward. It will actually uh, give you a completely different cockpit, but it will also also cost extra money so you have to decide whether you are happy to invest into such upgrade and have it on your model. Next we continue with another bag which packs several sets of frames so I'm going to put it aside. Here we have fuselage halves so this one is also important because we have, I'm not sure if we have the different sprues, so just give me a second to compare them. Yeah, we have different sprues, so we can copy two aircraft types actually, or two versions of the aircraft. So here is the first fuselage version, and I would zoom in a bit. Now let's zoom in even closer so that you can check what we have on the external features. These ones are including the recess panel lines and rivets and note that everything is carefully pre-molded so it's more important not to damage all this stuff because once you send a a anything accidentally you will have to somehow fix it and it will be quite a lot of fun to be honest because you have to rescribe it somehow and preserve the factory look if we can say so next we continue with another type of the fuselage so here it is I guess the main difference will be in exhaust area and also here in the air intake from what I'm seeing. But if you know more, feel free to write in the comment section and obviously I will give more information in our traditional review article. And if I flip it over here inside, of course it won't be surprising to see the plain cockpit walls because we all remember that they were supplied as a separate parts, which should be inserted here in the special tabs. So nothing to be worried about. Next we continue with external equipment. So here we have two identical sprues. I will show you on one. And I guess not all of these parts will be actually used on the aircraft any of the aircraft from this box but here we have external fuel tanks, rocket launchers, also some bombs and all this stuff can be installed on your aircraft I and mean, you can completely omit these parts and build a clean aircraft. It is up to you and obviously nobody insists on adding them at any cost. Next we continue with various add-ons. So here we have for example mask set. This one comes in a separate ziplock bag. I'm opening it right now. And of course these masks are pre-cut so it's a typical Edward bonus and it will be handy for a nice finish especially in 130, 48, not 38 uh, scale. So definitely a good thing to have. And now I'm checking the P fret. Because it's interesting if they are different. 159, 
Okay, it looks like there is the same. So I guess maybe these aircraft inside are absolutely the same. But as for the P thread, you can see that this is a typical Edward offering pre painted P thread for a cockpit and some external elements. We also have glazing on the dials, which is also a handy feature in a 148 scale. So it's just a matter of careful application because some of these P parts they're really tiny and it will be quite tricky thing to not to lose them, let's say, during installation. Next, we have really huge decals sheet, so I am going to open it right now. Actually, there are several of them, so two small ones and one big. Obviously, all three are printed in Edward, so I will show you first the small one. We have the uh, stencils here and we have here, oops, sorry. So we have the stencils which are printed in Edward and there are a lot of tiny writings. And as usual, I'm saying that it's worth applying all these symbols on your aircraft because it will give you a better appearance. And in 148 scale, they start to be significant. They start to be noticeable. So if you decide to not to apply them, it will be visible on the model. And next, I'm opening the large decal sheet. This one will be a bit tricky to take out of the bag. And just to remind you while I'm taking it out, we have 12 marking options. You can copy two out of 12. So it's quite a decent choice. But that's the, as far as I remember, that's the first time I see such large decal sheets applied out of the box and I wonder why it was done like this. So here you can see it and let's zoom out here. You can see comparison with my hand. It is huge and there is no segmentation and we have some decals for the cockpit. We have also more stencils and some checkerboards for the fuselage. Obviously professionals will be copying all this finish with help of masks, but it's still nice to get it as a decals because decals from Edward also look decent. And of course printing quality looks great, so there is nothing to complain about. And that's pretty much all if we are talking about bonuses, but we also have assembly manual. So as for the assembly manual, this one is printed as a large cover print that brochure and typical format for Edward and if I open it here we start with a short history note and as you can see we have various information which might be handy for uh, your build. Here we continue with the parts map and again a lot of stuff from this armament sprue won't be used so it will go straight to your spare parts box we start the assembly from the cockpit and as far as you can see this assembly menu does not differentiate between aircraft types so you have to pay attention to all these call outs for specific marking options depending on which one you will choose and this will actually define choice for the cockpit parts also for the fuselage parts as you can see here even for the main landing gear wheel wells and obviously for the uh, tail parts as well from what I can see here all the surfaces are separate here we continue with the instrument panel so yes instrument panel and combing panel they are assembled after the fuselage house are joined together here we continue working on the tail landing gear and main landing gear that's the masks application guide for the canopy and landing gear wheels which is rather nice because I thought it's only for the canopy Next, we have some masks also for the landing gear doors. It will be handy in one of the marking options as far as you can see. We also have choice between exhaust stacks, so it will depend on the marking you choose. The same applies to the um, indicators on the wings. Few tanks, it's up to you whether you would like to have them, but I guess they will be needed because this aircraft were operating with fuel tanks, but here we have a clean aircraft without any underwing fuel tanks, and the same applies to next two marking options. But as you can see, they are quite colorful, so it would be worth checking some back history behind this aircraft. Maybe more of the reference material will help you as well. And as for the marking guides, they're uh, I would say traditionally high quality finished for Edward, so there is nothing to be worried about. We also have even the 
uh, aluminium lacquer painted areas guide for the Mustang. Quite, I would say, important topic, and a lot of people always ready to debate it. And here we have the stenciling guide for this aircraft. So, as you remember, we have a separate sheet for each of the aircraft, so do not be lazy, apply the, all these tiny writings. As for the limited edition, it should be already available. You can get it on official Edward website, and of course, I would recommend to hurry because otherwise you might miss it and then it won't be possible to get it again and uh, do not forget to leave your opinion write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye